YouTube! Welcome back to my channel! <laughs> don't mind my yellow fingers! My whole hand is yellow. I don't know if it's visible, but I spray coffee on my papers and I hold them and yeah, I have coffee fingers, I guess. <laughs> but that's alright. We are here to review a new toy. It's really big, so I cannot like hold it up into the cam. I don't know what to do and how to do that, but we will figure something out. It's a We Are Memory Keepers dial trimmer, and this is how it comes in a box, which I didn't open, but yeah, right there. Price and number, come on, price and number for you. So, I don't know, normally I do take stuff out, so I don't know what happened here, but this is, this looks, like your normal cutting board with different, look, they slide in and they slide out. I wonder if they come out actually to replace them. Oh, that's a good thing. You know, I just, I haven't thought about that. How do you replace them? You know, wondering, do they like sell a whole set? I've never seen that because you will have to replace them. They are not going to stay like this, right? And you can use a longer paper, just like with your normal paper cutter. But I'm going to hold mine like this just for you to see. So let's see. Just things come out. <laughs> things are pretty neat in there. And let's see if there is anything that tells me how to use it. And there is probably not. There never is. So please, of course they don't watch, but we are memory keepers. Can you come with a little instruction just for people who really don't use tools? Okay, easily rotate the blade, dial to trim score and more. Easily measure and align with extending arm, cut cardstock up to 12 inches, inch and centimeter measurements. And that's basically what it says. Great. So you dial <laughs> like this, and then you're supposed to just cut, put your paper in there. I wonder, you see, I want to know how this comes out. I don't want to like have a lot of muscle <laughs> go in there, but truthfully, what am I supposed to do if they don't tell me? Let's say I've never seen a tool. I've never seen a tool like this, for example. I have to figure out how I can open this to put my paper in there. So do I just slide it in there? I don't like this. I want to put it in there. So I don't know. Look, you could slide it in there and nothing seems to come out. So I don't know. Do you know? I'm just, you know, my... If I do a review, I do a review from a standpoint of a noob. Let's say it this way. Beginner, absolute beginner, newbie. So that's my standpoint right here. So why can't I open it? I don't know. It doesn't tell me anywhere how to open it. So maybe it's not opening at all. That's why you will see it just like I open a tool when I get one. Okay, so then you have something to slide here. And this is, I believe, the squaring one. And let's see. Well, the squaring one squared two lines for me because I did go back and forth, maybe. Can you see that? I'm trying here. Oh yeah, it's visible right here that it did score two lines for me. So that's weird. Let's just keep it on the white side. So if I go back and forth, it seems to score two lines for me. Let's dial. I would say let's dial. This one should give me a straight cut. Back and forth, straight cut. Perfect. Then again, I'm wondering how do I get paper, um, how do I get the blades? I hate it, I do have a paper cutter, which means that I have to get new blades all the time, like all the time. <laughs> so 
I don't know. I haven't seen those. And then again, how easy would it be to replace those blades? Because it doesn't make sense if they are not replaceable. Like, it wouldn't make sense at all. You, if you are a paper, paper crafter, you will know right away that you need probably, I sometimes need two days to have to exchange a blade. So, I don't know. Do you know more? Who knows more? Okay, this is supposed to just perforate your paper. Let's do this. So if I go back and forth, even though I hold my paper, the blade is shifting and you will see it, hopefully. Okay. What's that? That's not even visible. Okay, it's probably more visible when I hold it. You see that? Right there, it shifted. There was one line and then I got two lines because I went back and forth. So you can only go one way. I would say so, but you can fold the paper. It worked basically, but it didn't work like I would like it to. So that's not a plus and see, if I don't figure out, I will go online and see how to, you know. So I have to have internet and I have to go online to we are memory keepers to maybe try and figure out how to work this tool. Um, I believe not everybody is, um, you know, I know that everybody got internet, but not everybody is willing to do that. So just a little booklet, you know, just a little booklet with like Ikea does at least, you know, <laughs> where, where you can tell what to do. I need to turn this thing around. So this one will not come out for sure. I can tell that much, but I might be able to take this one out, but I don't think it's there to be taken out. Now again, I do have a screw here, which means I can open the whole thing probably to take the blades out because something is telling me otherwise, otherwise, um, you know, I cannot take them out. So that's a minus, you know, a plus is that it's, you remember how I had the blades with a ruler? So this one is much better. It's something very similar. So that's a plus. And it's pretty like flat and everything, so that's a plus. I can store it, but if I can't replace the blades, it will not help me at all. First of all, second thing, seriously, the sliding in the paper it kind of bugs me already. But let's just dial and trim. <laughs> How about that? So if I do one, it's good. But because I cannot put pressure on both, when I go back, you can see it does not cut perfectly because I get another piece of paper from the middle, which is not supposed to be this way, in my opinion. Okay, that's the cut you get with the third. Yeah, with the third one we tried. The cut is not bad. I'm not saying anything about the cut, but there is a little bit of improvement, you know. See, now I can't, I can't just stick it in there. And don't we hate it when our paper gets like wrinkled when we do something? Yeah, I do hate it for sure. So the dialing is a little bit hard, but that's good. So it doesn't turn itself, you know, if you don't need it. Cut, cut back. As you can see, it's just what happens. And funny thing is, it only happens like right here. So, next one we are getting is another wave, which is fine. It does get fine. Now I have to stick it back in again, push it in, otherwise I cannot do anything. And now let's try to do it this way. No. I thought maybe, you know, it would be better if I don't hold anything, but it still cuts like two lines. This is the other one. And I believe we have one more to go. So let's push the paper back in there. Oh, I cannot even do it with, with the right hand. Okay. And then whatever this one is supposed to do, I wonder. Okay, what 
is this? Is this like a square line? Let me show you like this. Can you even see it? I don't even see it there. It is like a square line. But we do have a square line right here. Or was it a straight cut? Oh no, this is the, we are back to the square line. Okay, then it's my muffle. Oh, did we do everything already? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it only has six. It has waves, straight cut, perforation, and scoring. Okay, I'm out of it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't want it. I kind of thought it would be better because, you know, I showed you the rulers and the rulers are much better, much better. First of all, there's a ruler. It's forever. You don't have to replace blades because that was my first thought on this one. How do I replace blades? Um, how much do they cost? You know, and stuff like that, because we know that we have to do that all the time, right? And whatever I do, this one do not does not seem to open, and I don't want to break it. So, truthfully, this thing is not for me. I was thinking or expecting more of it. What should I say? You can, yeah, you can use it like your cutting board, but I wouldn't use it me personally because... Yeah, like I said, hate to push in the paper in there and I don't see any other way. Maybe you have to do it this way. I was just thinking, you know, do you have to do it one way? I really don't think so because you have to measure here. But just to be fair, let's try. No, you don't do that. So that's the only way I see to how, you know, like how to get my paper in there. And what if I have really pretty paper and, you know, maybe there is a little bit of glitter I don't want to come off. I really have to push it through here. I don't want to. So, that's my little review. I would say for me personally, this is thumbs down. I do not want to keep this. I don't feel like playing with this ever just because, you know, of the couple things I was talking about. It doesn't cut back and forth like we used to do back and forth right and in my paper cutter you get a straight cut if you do back and forth so here you basically have to push it to one side to cut it like you want it keep it there take your paper out and then push it back which should not be that way right so either I am complete idiot here where this does not open the blades are not replaceable and it doesn't cut straight. So you tell me, that's how I feel. Let me see. Okay, so the same thing as right. Let me see how it works. Anyways, it does have a blade here. You see like a rotate? I'm not sure you can probably not see, but this, oh yeah, that's true. It doesn't have something where the blade goes in. So basically you are cutting your plastic the whole time. Every time you cut anything, you will cut this plastic piece. Like the normal paper cutter. Oh my God, I don't have my paper cutter around me. But it has this inside piece where the blade goes. Why don't I see my paper cutter? I don't know. Oh, right here it is. Because I buried it under my paper pad. Okay. So that's the normal one. First of all, you can open it. Yeah. And the second thing is, this is where the blade goes inside. So you are not cutting your plastic. And the blade is exchangeable. Very, very, very easy. I don't know. This is, yeah, like I said. Plus, what is plus for this one? Yeah, it's flat. I like I like the design. You know, I can just put it somewhere. I can like stand it up somewhere or whatever, or even hang it if needed. But I don't hang things. However, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you it helped you decide if if you want this or not. Because it is twelve dollars, you know, and twelve dollars for something we are not going to use. I don't think it's um, the right thing to do to buy one of those, but it's just my opinion. 
nobody is paying me for my opinion it's just what I do so I hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up um leave me a comment what you think maybe it's me so maybe you have one and you love it and the blades are super easy replaceable but I don't know how so yeah tell me that if you have any experience with that otherwise I hope you enjoy your day share subscribe of course <laughs> and I will see you in my next video bye, -bye.